you're videoing. I am. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are on another adventure. We are going to Arizona this time. Winslow, Arizona. So yeah, I'm excited about it. Can't pronounce the name of the, uh, the place we're staying. Um, we're gonna, well, hopefully we'll stand on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. Yes. Yeah. But we're going to an Arizona State Park if I pronounce it correctly, it's Hamalavi State Park. Uh, in the state park, they got Mopi Indian artifacts and uh, ruins. So, so yeah, that would be fun. We're going to get out there and uh, hook up with a bunch of fellow runaway campers for an event they call Circle the Wagons. It's going to be a long trip if it's like this all the way. We hadn't made it 30 miles out of town yet, but we are out of town. Uh, it looks like we're coming down to one lane now, so maybe things will pick up after this. kind of things. Sure, I'm glad we're not in a hurry. Nah. Still got about 360 miles to go for our stop for today. So we're just, just past halfway. We just hit Roscoe City Limits. Good morning, friends. It's uh, early morning, getting ready to head out for leg two to get us to Arizona. Uh, we stopped in Clovis, New Mexico last night at this little RV park, very reasonable rates, clean and safe. I'll show you around a little bit and then we're gonna get on the road. Yep, here's Mongo. Zizi getting some breakfast. Miss Katrina packing up the trailer, getting ready to head out. Yep. That up there is the front office. And it's just pretty basic, nothing fancy about the park. We've never had a problem finding a spot open here. Uh, a lot of equestrian uh, folks come out here. Oh yeah, look at that. We're gonna have us a good sunrise this morning. A lot of question folks will come out here and stay here. They got some stables and stuff. So, yeah, maybe we get us a good picture of the sunrise later this morning. It looks like it's coming up pretty good. So, that's kind of it. I know it's kind of dark, but we'll get going. What do you think, ZZ? You ready to go riding? You ready to go? You ready to go? Yeah? 
Oh, by the way, the name of the place is Clovis Point RV Park. We're going to the road now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she is. an unscheduled stop and we're going to take a short loop of the uh, Petrified National mile, Forest park. So we'll see a couple things here. It's going to take way too long to see the whole park. Um, we'll put us way behind schedule but we thought we'd stop see if we can find a few things. As you look out over the Painted Desert you're only seeing a small portion of it. The Painted Desert extends over 7,500 square miles across northeast Arkansas. Because Petrified Forest National Park lies at the heart, the entire park contains the colorful rocks of the Painted Desert. The Painted Desert is about 120 miles long by 60 miles wide and includes all the Petrified Forest National Park. You're videoing. <laughs> These formations consist of mainly sandstone and mudstone layers which were deposited by a vast river and a forest ecosystem. All of the colors you see are caused by the iron in the sediments. So we made it to Hamalavi State Park here in Arizona, uh, not far from Winslow. Uh, there's two loops here. There's one loop right there. Make sure Mongo and the trailer over there. There's another runaway right there. Restrooms right here. And then here's the other loop right 
right here. Just two small loops. Simple little campsite. I'll show you some of the views as we go around. Out in the distance out there, you can see that red and white antenna pole, radio tower. Well, the freeway runs right through there. Right across over this hill. And you might can see the trucks moving way off in the distance out there. Maybe not. But. Well, it's time to sit down and eat. So I may not get a chance to do this a little later, but uh, here's what we got going at sunset. Well, there's what we're getting for a sunset this evening. You saw a picture of the sun earlier, and that's our setting. They tell us possibility that we may see the aurora borealis we may be able to see aurora borealis here tonight or tomorrow night or even sunday night it's supposed to start looking north between 10 a.m or 10 p.m and 2 a.m walking up here on top of the hill i thought we'd see a little bit better option back out this way camp this morning. We're going to head into Winslow and check out what's there in town. Uh, currently we are traveling on part of the original Route 66, which is a business section of it going through town. This is about all there is here because unfortunately most of it is Interstate 40 now, so it is what it is. Times change. But Currently, we are on Route 66. Mother Road Farmer's Market, downtown Winslow, Arizona. Very interesting. A little music playing. Yep, nice. We're here at the Visitor Center in Winslow. Miss Katrina went inside to see what's up. We're taking turns. With our puppy is easy with us. It's easy. Hey there, buddy. Lunch at the sip shop. 
All right, here's our famous intersection of standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. Right over there is where the pictures are taken. There's the other corner. And the big sign in the middle of the street. And the other corner over there with Miss Katrina where I'm gonna go get some ice cream. Catch y'all later. When we were in Winslow, one of the merchants told us of a place just north of Hamalabi Park where the locals would go hang out and camp at times, and they call it Painted Rock Park. So we came out here to see what it was about. There are several spots up here where you can camp for free. Looks like we got caught in a dust storm. So we're just sitting here letting it fly by. And this is just the corner of it. After the storm passed, we came down to check out some of the artifacts at Homolobi 1 one of the ancient dwelling sites. Get up here, okay? There's more visible rooms, you know? As we look around, you can kind of see the base of where the walls may have stood at one time. Archaeologists have dated Hamalabi 1 from 1290 to 1400 AD. From 1290 to 1360 AD, it was the largest village in what archaeologists referred to as the Hamalabi Settlement Cluster, which for much of the period consisted of four to five villages. There is evidence scattered around in the form of pottery, stone used for corn grinding, and stone used for flaked stone tools. That exchange was extensive among the Hamalavi villages. As we walk around the Hamalavi one, you can see pieces of the pottery and stone scattered around. Looks like we were going to get some pretty bad storms earlier. It still might. 
right out yonder is kind of coming this way, but it might go around us. And then we got all this up above us. We've had a few raindrops and the wind was picking up, so we took our awnings down. Took everything down. We're leaving in the morning anyway. And yeah, it's, it's cooled down quite a little bit, as you can see, by little Miss Katrina bundled up. I'm cold. I'm chilled. It was nice and warm this morning. I had shorts on, and now I've got this on. I could go get my Snuggie. <laughs> oh, I brought that too. They'll chase us out of here. All right. Don't even come out. Yeah, hopefully this wind dies down a little bit before we uh, head up to meet the group for the evening gathering. Oh, show them where Azizi is. Oh, he didn't want to sit outside. He's in there. And he won't come out. Not even to eat dinner. Spoiled rotten dog. See, there he is, just laying there. He won't move. Right, ZZ? You gonna come out and eat? Yeah, okay. Bye now. Got this little rainbow action going out there. Should have got to it sooner. It's getting kind of faint. So, that right there is Steve with Shoebox Adventures. Are you too hungry by any chance? Not too much. Okay. Not too much. But thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Have to check out his channel. I'll put the link down in the description on it. I've got to talk to you on camera and promote your channel. Yes. Yep. I think that'd be fun. Well, friends, we're all hooked up. Not ready, but ready to head back to La Casa. A two day trek to get back. So we say goodbye to Hamalavi State Park and the wonders it brought. Let's get down the road. We stopped in Littlefield for the night. We're about uh, 500 or so miles from the house. Uh, there's a free little park here in town. I'll show it to you. Wayland Jennings RV Park. Free parking. Littlefield apparently is a hometown of Wayland Jennings or 
At least that's one of the signs I read said. There's like a little park out here. Um, fairgrounds over behind it. And this is kind of what you see. There's several little sites here. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And each site has a power pole that they share. Unfortunately, they don't all work. So I guess people aren't giving enough donations. They have a donation box for you to leave a donation to cover the power and the water use. But uh, yeah, some folks just don't want to play the game right. Anyhow, uh, these two sites right here don't have power. Those two sites behind us do have power. Well. Only one of the outlets work. The other outlet doesn't work. There we are set up. We don't have power. And then this site with this coachman here. Spot number 9 and spot number 10. Both of those, the power works. And 11 and 12 were two pull-through sites. And on both of those, the power works as well. There's a suggestion box. I may leave a suggestion. There's our power box right there, but it does not work. So this site next to us and our site does not have power. But we're set up to not to need power unless we want AC, so we'll be fine for the night. Free stay with a picnic table. All the luxuries at home, right? There's a Mr. ZZ over here. And my lady Katrina working on dinner. So it's a nice little relaxing stop for the night before we head back to La Casa in the morning. Littlefield, Texas. Waylon Jennings Park. Like I said, it's free for four days. Up to four days. And then after four days, they want $20 a night. There's some more of the Wayland Jennings. Well, at least you waited till we got close to home. Before it started to rain on us. About 80 miles to go. It was a good weekend though. We had plenty of plenty of good weather. Had that little sandstorm or rain a windstorm come through. Yeah. With a few little droplets of rain, but it was mainly wind. Other than that, it was a great weekend. A little chilly at times. Yes it was. We got down to probably about 32 one night. Uh, last night we were there, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a good weekend. We'll go somewhere else next weekend. Thanks for tagging along. Be sure and like and subscribe so you can catch our new episodes, our new videos, our new adventures. But for now, ta-ta.